Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there on YouTube land watching. John and Ellie of Georgia Beer Reviews back at you today with a special examination, kind of spur of the moment. Uh, Michael Kormoff and myself were talking about this earlier, and we got drunk one here as well. We're going to do an IPA investigation. We're going to look at some different IPAs, talk about them, review them, just hang out for a bit. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, Michael. I see Drucklin move Michael up to the second <laughs> spot there. So, uh, what, what do you got, Michael? Okay, this is from Victory of Downingtown, Pennsylvania, in the suburbs of Philadelphia, called Hop Devil IPA. It's 6.7% alcohol, and I can pour it. Sir. And we'll see. I had we that beer a few years ago. Unfortunately, it, it was not fresh at all. So, I felt like I didn't really give it a fair review. So hopefully that's not uh, not an old bottle. No, this should be fairly fresh, even though I couldn't find a date on it. It might be here somewhere, and I just couldn't find it. But this is what it looks like in the glass, and it, it definitely looks good. It's um, what you'd call like a dark orange type, amber almost. Mm -hmm. It is, is off-white and pretty um, a lot of compact bubbles, bubble stream. So I will, I will wait until everybody describes their beers, and then we'll give a full deal on that one. Uh, sounds good. It definitely looks more Westy on the appearance, like clear and darker versus the juicy IPAs that I'm getting very used to up here in New England. So that'll be an interesting one for sure. Uh, so drunken one, what are you doing? Yes, sir, sir. All right. I have got one here from the Houston, Texas area from Carbock Brewing. It's called Hopadillo, Hopadillo IPA. And it is a 6.6% uh, <clears throat> excuse me, IPA. And uh, if it's important, it's got 65 IBUs. And I got a cool, tall, cool looking glass, I guess. Looks like it's pretty clean this today. All right, so let's go pour on it. Thanks for having me, Mr. John. Yeah, thanks for joining. I know this yeah, is, man. you don't do a lot of the live stream stuff, I, right? Uh, yeah. I'm not yeah. really good at these uh, beer descriptors and stuff, but whoa, boy, I got a little aggressive on that one. So, yeah, it's pouring up with that. <laughs> Over the Alex Beer Master, uh, four and a half finger head, uh, uh, <laughs> quite clear and uh, bubbly on the edges. Dirty glass mafia. Give a little clap to the table to where we can clear the bubbles off, and that's what she looks like. It's a little bright in the background, but uh, it's looking like that. Papadillo. All right. Papadillo. Nice. Okay. And I've got one from Treehouse. They are out of Charlton, Mass. They've got six or seven locations now, and you pick up beers from. I went to Tewksbury. Did an online order and picked it up. This beer is like two weeks old, super fresh. Evil Julius uh, clocks in at nine point two percent ABV. <clears throat> they have a one of their flagship beers or flagship IPAs is the Julius. This is a an evil Halloweeny version of that. Uh, says it's a dastardly rendition of the Julius to push the concept of the Julius family into diabolically delicious territory. <laughs> right. So they use a high mash temperature, additional sweet malts, and an, an enormous load of hops throughout the brewing process, including in the bright tank. So anyway, it's just a amped up version of the Julius, which is only 6.8%. This one's 9.2. So a lot, a, lot, uh, a lot bigger beer. And as you can see... Pouring it up, it's very, very juicy. Looks a lot different than Michael's for sure. But the, <laughs> the hazy, you cannot see through it at all. It is orange juice with a head, basically two fingers worth of a relatively creamy looking, slightly off white head. I'm very excited to drink this beer. And really quick, we'll go to the chat. We got Jason Cleveland says, Michael, we missed you on Stout Sunday today. Yeah, I think Michael was having internet issues this morning. And uh, she's also asked drunk one how is the dirty water? The dirty it's water, like, right? It looks so. like dirty water, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead. Uh, we're all thirsty here. We're going to go ahead and get into these beers. I will go ahead and pull Michael up and uh, let, a, let him tell us about his victory opto. Okay, so here's the here's the bottle again. Looks like it's a hop in a face, yeah, huh? <laughs> it's a demonic. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's kind of cute actually i like it anyway the malts are pilsner vienna and caramel and the hops are both 
um, sea hops, Cascade and Centennial. Pretty classic hops, I guess. Ones yeah, we're yeah. used to in older style IPAs. And this is what it looks like in the glass. As as John said, it's different than his. It's clear completely. You can see through it. Right. Uh, completely different. This would be, I guess, your more classic type IPA as we right. know it, American style IPA yeah. anyway. Mm -hmm. And like I said, the head is still holding up. It's um, off white. And like I said, very compact bubble stream. And the bubble stream is coming up. So there is carbon, a lot of carbonation in this beer. Let me get a nose on it. Well, you get the hops right away, and I'm kind of used to Centennial and Cascade. They they are, in some ways, some of my favorite of the old-time hops. So you're getting the um, hops right away in the smell. So you'd say the smell is hoppy, just as a general theme kind of thing. It's not. It, it's weird, and sometimes it's hard to get into it. It's because, it's, you know, you get different type hop nose. And when I first smelled it, I thought it was, you know, going to be more like, um, you know, your um, oranges and your grapefruit right. and that kind of thing. But it turns out as I smell it more, it's more of that malty type smell that you that you also get in some IPAs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's I got a lot of that when I drank it. And to me, that was like a sign that it may not be super fresh because I couldn't find a date on mine either. And when you but, smell uh, yeah, more you can really hops. smell the hops in the process too. So it, it's like yeah. a combination thing. I guess I won't know until I taste it yeah. how how it is. We did do one of these though. Um in the last I we had one of our gatherings on Thursday, which John, you saw the results of. This was one of the beers in there. It didn't do well, but if you looked at the top end of some of the beers that were involved in it, it really didn't have much of a chance. Right. This other friend of mine, Linda gets all these Chicago beers and some of them are really top, really the, you know, say in the same kind of class as Trillium and Treehouse and other. Right. Apps. So those other than the um, Trillium that won, which was the um, stout one at 15, six, the other, the next three were all IPAs, all the double types like you're drinking. So, right. Okay. And this, I think finished sixth or seventh. Anyway, let me get a sip on it and see what it tastes like. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Okay, it's definitely a malt, more of a malty top type front than a hop type front in the taste, but it still seems to deliver a, a positive taste. And um, it's six point seven. I guess it, it doesn't it it doesn't really cover the alcohol. It, it tastes more than a session. So you know you know this is not a five percent you know session IPA. It's a little bit heavier in the body also the body is kind of medium but it's it's good i'm more used i'm more used to the um either fruity or um orangey citrus kind of thing than i am this malty kind of thing but i don't know malty ipas i guess can be good too yeah, you're not getting like a musky, like an old hop. Uh, no, this this flavor. actually, I think this is. I think it's probably what they intended, but I'm not sure. I mean, I'm not an I'm not an expert on hop devil, right? So I'm not absolutely positive. Um, it's too bad they don't have a date on there, so you can really know. Nothing, there's nothing I can. Usually on these type things, it's usually at the top of the bottle if they have. Right. Unfortunately, that's a bad place to put it because it's brown, it, black on brown. Yeah, it, it wipes away. If somebody rubs their finger on it, they they do. Yeah. it. So I don't know how old it is. It's hard to tell. Whatever. But I mean, to to be honest, it's not like I'm going to give it an eighty or anything. It's it's still a plausible Peace. IPA. It's not going to be an eight plus either. It's going to be less than that. But it's not. You know, I'm not turned off by it. it goes down pretty easy. You know, it's it's drinkable. Um, I guess I like, um, the citrus or tropical flavors a little bit better than something like this. If I had to choose in, in this type IPA, but, um, I still would say it's good. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Chatio, if you want to join the link is in the, uh, the chat, you should be able to find it. If not, I can post it in the, uh, in the actual live chat, but. 
If you do want to join, you should be able to find the link. I know you're in some of our groups. Um, so, all right. So, so, yeah, it sounds pretty good. It sounds better than what – I don't know. I feel like when I had it, I, I feel like I got an old bottle, and I, I picked up on a lot of, like, musty-type hop notes that are usually indicative of an out-of-date beer. So, anyway, all right. We'll let you sip on that for a little while. We'll come back around. We're going to pull up Mr. Dio with hey, the Carbach. Right. So, I, I haven't touched it yet. I just uh, let the, the head reside. Re, 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 side there a little bit and it's left a little glass lacing already uh it had like a kind of a rocky head i'll pour up the rest of it just to get the color i got a fruit fly in here it's trying to enjoy my beer with me hopefully i can get it out of the way all right so yeah there it is it pours up with i pour the rest of it in there it's uh, got a, a, a tight compact kind of what would uh, beer man say it's got the memory foam kind of head to it right tight small bubbles there you uh, go. yeah you know, kind of went away uh my, my lighting is kind of weird in here it's kind of backlit today but uh, anyway, uh, so I think mine's going to be a lot like what Michael's is in the sense where uh, it's, it's uh, not going to be so fruity as it is. Uh, well, let me just get some nose on it. We'll go here. Yeah, it's uh, more more like uh, the grassy type, uh, you know, more grassy and more earthy. Um, uh, yeah, it's kind of a, a grassy type. Uh, the, the what East Coast, right? Uh, West, West Coast, West Coast, West Coast, right? yeah. West Coast style, West Coast style. All right, let's get a sip on it. Uh, it's an old it looks favorite. more like the color of mine. Maybe yours is a little bit lighter. Uh, yeah, uh, maybe. A lot different than mine. It, it, it looks darker in here. It looks darker to me than it is to you for some reason. Uh, maybe I shut the shades, but uh, yeah. Anyway, so it, it, no, they're, they're very similar. Maybe it's yeah, exactly they're, the they're, same. Uh, the yeah, I got that light. I got the damn window right there behind me, so it's kind of shining through to make it more uh, uh, more bright. <clears throat> but uh, anyway, uh, let, yeah, let's get into it, man. Cheers. Cheers. Drunken one. Okay, yum, 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 yum. Okay, uh, uh, like a medium to like a me medium to maybe fuller type body. Um, uh, really grassy. Uh, it's got a, a, a bit of bite to it with the with the sixty five IBUs. Got a little bit of bite. The alcohol presence is uh, uh, hidden very well. I was looking for the date on it. Um, the date they printed it, my camera's probably not going to represent this well. Anyway, it's uh, the, the way it printed up, it printed over like the edge of the can. So it's like, ah, you know, I couldn't see the numbers. All I can see is it says enjoy by, and then the, the, the like the, the date got messed up and it says 2022 on the other side of it. But it's, it's uh, I assume it's fresh. Uh, they're not too, too totally expensive. They're like $9.99 a six pack. And uh, they're pretty easy to find around here, even at the local gas stations. Um, yeah, it's uh, kind of a medium full body, quite grassy in flavor. Alcohol is well hidden. Uh, there, there's, I'm not sure what hops they use in it. It's a, got, got a, a, an aroma of hops. Maybe I should have researched it to be able to give you some more information about that. Yeah, very, very flavorful. Uh, uh, it goes down easy, quite refreshing. Shh, here comes Chatty out. I bet you one of the hops they use is Amarillo hops. I would imagine, yeah, with the, with the with name Papadillo, name. yeah, I would imagine, yeah, Amarillo, maybe some Cascade or Centennial, also maybe uh, some uh, middle middle fruit, Paul middle fruit. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, very very uh, very pleasing, uh, easy to drink, uh, easy to find, not so totally expensive, uh, flavorful. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's it's. Uh, I don't know how much uh, distribution they have. Uh, Carbach Brewing. I don't know how much distribution they have, but uh, if you're down this way, it's worth trying out. And uh, yeah, I guess that's all I got. Drunken one, what's the carbonation like? Um, actually, yours looked a lot better than mine in the sense where you can see the bubbles uh, coming up through the glass. Um, the carbonation is uh, um, like medium, uh, medium to light. Actually, um, yours was just streaming bubbles. You know, my, mine doesn't just uh, doesn't stream the bubbles like yours did. But uh, no, it's very flavorful. Again, the lighting's kind of weird. There you go. It's about that color, right? It's about like that color. It's yeah, a bit darker. But uh, yeah, yeah, that, and that's uh, that's what I got. Cheers, okay. welcome, Chadio. Are your ears cold? Mm. Got your, you got your ear, my son. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Cheers, well, welcome, you. welcome in, Chadio. Thanks for the uh, breakdown there, Drunken One. We'll get back. Hi, to Chadio. You shortly, Hello. I'll go ahead and pull you up, Chadio. You can tell us what you're drinking and get into it. Okie dokie. I am bringing. I've never had this brewery before, but I think it's 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 brewed by one of you guys. Pretty darn close. It is uh, Grim Brewing Company out of Brooklyn, New York. Mm -hmm. It is their Suicide Door 
Triple India Pale Ale, ten percent ABV, has Citra, El Dorado, Galaxy, and Simcoe hops. So <clears throat> that'd be a fun one to bring up with you guys. All right, yeah. Also have a uh, KCBC, but I decided to hold off on that one. Come on, head. There you go. There we go. Oh yeah, nice. Orange in color, orange juice looking. Uh, very nice. Very, very, very hazy. It's a triple IPA. Got a one finger uh, tight bubble head on the sides and on the top. It's a little more frothy. Uh, so you want me to just get in and. Yep, go for it. Okay. Sorry, I'm late. Mm. Let okay. it slide this time. <laughs> All right, I appreciate it. <laughs> um. Trying to get my mustache out of the way. It's going, a little, it's going a little long. <laughs> I thought you'd go dip your beak in there. <laughs> Very citrusy. Definitely tell there's multiple different hops in here. Getting a little bit of a pineness in it. Like some tropical, tropical fruit notes. Cheers. I think it's sure. like it. <laughs> to give a sip. <laughs> Mmm. Oh yeah, that's very tropical, very fruity. Like I said, orange. Um, got some peach notes, a little bit of grapefruit. Not a whole lot of pininess, but it is there. Very subtle. This is very well brewed. Uh, like I said, it's my first time trying Grim, and uh, mm -hmm. I think I think I I got a good one to try. We have a brewery here called Grim Brothers. I showed my friend. I'm like, I have a beer from Grim. He's like. Why'd you order that to war? We have them here. I'm like, no, no, no. It's out of Brooklyn, New York. He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> so, mm. yeah, this is very yummy. And at 10%, I'll put me in a, in a great place to watch the NASCAR race. Cheers. <laughs> right? Turn left. Turn left. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, all right. You good for I'm now? I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. That's good. Um, <laughs> Okay. Next. <laughs> well, that leaves me. And uh, yeah, I've got the Treehouse Evil Julius 9.2. It's a double. They're still considered a double, I believe, but it's bordering on a triple IPA. Yeah, double IPA. It's funny because another beer from them I, I've had, which I don't know if I posted the review yet or not, but it's 9.4%. And they label that one as a triple. So 9.2 versus 9.4. I don't know. To me, triple's like 10% plus, but. Right. Uh, anyway, so there's the appearance. Yeah, really nice, orange, juicy looking. Looks nice, yeah. The, arom the aromas with this, it's very similar to the Julius, but amplified. Like, orange, citrus. A little bit of tropical fruit in there, like pineapple. Some nice, bready note, like a little bit of wheat malt. No alcohol whatsoever. There's a little bit of an earthy thing coming through as well from the hops, but it's mostly... Citrus forward with a little bit of tropical fruit and a nice wheat malt backbone. Smells delightful, as all of these beers do. So, cheers. Cheers, Drink John. It. Drink it. Cheers, man. Oh, I mean, it's Treehouse. It's, it's really good. Um, unfortunately, they don't distribute. Uh, okay. But they do have seven locations now, and if you live in Massachusetts, the good thing about them not distributing is you get beers that are like less than two weeks old. You're not going to get any, you know. They cut out the middleman. There's no, there's no old beer. You go there, you get fresh stuff every time. Um, the freshest beer I've ever had is from Treehouse. It was like two days old. Wow. Anyway, this one, yeah, it's like two weeks ago. It was canned. Uh, super. Citrus forward on the palate as well. A little bit of like pineapple, maybe a touch of papaya in there. There's some other tropical fruit in there that's coming through that I'm really kind of having a hard time specifying what it is. It's not melon. It's it's more of like a papaya or maybe even like a like a dragon fruit or something. It's it's interesting. If you've ever had like a, a vitamin water dragon fruit flavored, like there's there's some of that in here. Mm. Um Nice and wheat, bready, malty in the middle of the sip. 
juicy on the finish. It's not drying going down. None of the alcohol is coming through. A um, little bit of the earthy hop notes that I was mentioning on the aroma kind of follow through on the finish as you swallow it down. So fresh and fruity, nice and juicy up front with the tropical fruit, the citrus, wheat, bready, malty in the middle, and then that earthy thing on the finish. None of the alcohol is coming through at 9.2%, super smooth. All the way through, you can really just guzzle this down. It's like a like a juice drink almost, a juice box for adults. Um, See, that's why you make the big bucks. You hear those descriptors, boys. You hear those descriptors. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, it's really good. And as you can see, there's some nice head retention, beautiful glass lace in there. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, it's an awesome beer. It's. Do I like it better than I like the regular Julius? That's hard to say because the regular Julius is a little bit more sessionable and it's more bursting at the seams with that orange citrus, right? It's more like a literal orange Julius drink. Mm. This is a little bit more rounded, more well-rounded. It's got a little bit more of the earthy hops. It's got a little bit more complexity. So it really just depends on what you want. You want higher alcohol, more complex, or do you want simple, more orange Julius-esque? Right. I would go for this one personally. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's awesome stuff. I'll keep thinking about it and we'll come back around with ratings here in just a John, second. John, I was gonna add I was gonna ask you, have you ever had their green? Yes, I've had their green and I've had their haze, and they're both amazing. The That's it, like one of their flagships. I would say the purple, the haze, and the green, and the Julius are like their four main IPAs, juicy IPAs that kind of started all of this stuff. Because this is a ver this is an expansion upon their yeah. Julius. Uh -huh. um, I've had the very hazy, which is a, a a double dry hop version of their haze. They have a very green, which is a, a, a stronger double IPA version of the of the regular green. So all it seems like all of their IPAs kind of branch off from those four flagship beers that they have. The green is so. the only one I've tasted. So that's the oh. and it was and it was excellent. Yeah, I mean, they didn't you have a treehouse beer in one of your tastings recently that you yeah, but it was brought by somebody else, but it wasn't the green, it was something it wasn't else. the green, it was something else, yeah. Anyway, yeah, tree, you can't go wrong right. with treehouse. I know you've had some trillium stuff, I've too. had more trillium taste. than I've I've had more trillium than I've had treehouse, and and all the trilliums I've had have been really good, too. So I can't, I can't make anything. And I've had a lot of other halves, which you guys have to try at some point. Which I have another half in the fridge. I can get other half here. It's kind of one of those things like when I can get it, I can get like five or six at one time, and then it disappears for two or three months. And then I'll get okay. another. There, there'll be another, uh, you know, big selection. But it, it's like short burst here. I don't get consistent right. other half. But I have one in the fridge right now. Um, it's a double double IPA. It's like Maldi Maldeva, Maldava. Um, IPA double IPA. It's eight point five percent. And I had one recently that I didn't review, but I posted it on my. It was an oat cream double IPA from them. It was really good. Anyway, they they do have some amazing the, stuff. And the, um, the difference with them is they have seven locations, and they're more. It's uh, mostly in the mid Atlantic states, and they have not come north at all into New England. In other words, they're in. They have three locations in New York City. They're in Philadelphia. They're in Washington, D.C. They're in upstate New York where they brew a lot of their beer now in the Finger Lakes. So you, have you ever, where you live, uh, I mean, have you ever been to other half brewing? Yeah, the one that's right by my house. That's Whenever you do come, oh, you said go the Finger Lakes. Okay, so so when I come visit, we'll have to go to. We'll have to go. It's only a right. half a mile from my house. That's right. I, I knew, that's okay. I was one. thinking of, because there's another brewery that's a, the, like a, uh, a, a, a three um uh, it's got the uh the victory the um yeah, six the, point and, right. and um southern tier and southern tier which is all it's all owned by all owned uh, by investors and and i told you they have a brew they set up a brew pub now in downtown brooklyn which i've been to also right, right and they have the other two there on a more limited basis mostly six right. point but they have the other people the beer that chadio has grim is by what used to be a gypsy brewer where they brewed in other people's place, but now they're brewing some of their own stuff in Brooklyn as well. Hmm. So I don't All know right. if this was brewed in Brooklyn or somewhere else. You could look at your can, your bottle, and it see says if it says Brooklyn, it was brewed in Brooklyn. It, but, it says Brooklyn, um, New York on it. They, they are well known now, and they're a good brewer. So that's a that's a uh, it's a fine beer. I, I've never had that. I had one. a grim. Uh, yeah, I, I drank a grim stout uh, double negative a couple weeks ago. I joined. Uh, 
I think it was Beer Man's I Like Your Style. They were doing like Halloween or spooky beers. And it had yeah, the, grim, right. the Grim Reaper going up the stairs on it. Right. It kind of looked yeah. like an yeah, old MC Escher, MC Escher painting where you have like the stair, crazy stairs. But instead of, uh, you know, the, it was the Grim Reaper going up the stairs. It was, it was really cool, um, really cool, like label art and everything. I didn't hit that. Who's who's playing with my? <clears throat> my I, I would guess it's a drunken one, but you know, you never know. Yeah, you never know. It's, it's, right. it's fine. I'm just it's fine. Some so, sinister person that's not here who's sneaking in. I know. Right? <laughs> yeah. Miscellaneous misses you. Miscellaneous says it's been a while, Michael K. Yeah. Cheers to you. Uh, he was going to join yeah, Stout Sunday this morning, but he was having internet issues, so he can't really hold that against him. I guess. Mm, mm, mm. Um, I mean, I, I don't understand what causes internet issues because it's what it's not my supplier; it has to be my router. It was some yeah. connection. It could, it could be. It could be one or the other. Yeah, yeah it, could, it, could be, it could be a supplier. Yeah, yeah. It could DNA. be that. Could be the yeah, ISP. Could be. Yeah, DNA. And today was the actual marathon, so there was a lot of activity around ah. where I am. That's right, because Kate, this there was supposed go. to be the this weekend, was the weekend we gonna, that John was going to come we down. Gonna come visit, John, yeah. we'll set, we'll set up another weekend in the next five or six weeks. Or yeah, we'll do something. Uh, five I'm or six fly, years. Flying down to Alabama for uh, Thanksgiving. I'm excited. I'm excited about that to see the family. So maybe like early December. Okay, we'll mid December. We'll set it up. Uh, all right, so we need to get back around and drink some more of these awesome beers because we're all yes. thirsty. And yes. uh, we need to come up with some kind of ratings for him. So we'll go back to Michael with his victory. Um, I was going to ask Chadio. Chadio, can yeah. you get victory beers in Colorado? Mm-hmm. Okay. So have you They're seen Hop Devil yeah. before? Uh, which one is that? Hop, Hop Devil? Devil? Uh, probably. It's an, it's an older so. beer. It's not. This is not yeah. new. They. It's been around yeah. for a while. So the Oktoberfest is really good. This is what that. I have left in the glass. Oh, and, it's obviously not. You get through it pretty quick. No, it's not. I'm getting out of myself. All right. All right. So are we can uh, give our ratings on this. Round? Yeah. Final thoughts. Ratings. We'll do all that now. Okay. As I'm sipping on it, it, it's not negative. It's just that you know I like other things better, so I rate it that way. I'm going to give it an 89 which is to me a, a firm B plus hasn't reached the a minus level still good. If I went to somebody's party and they offered me lists, I'd say good. I mean, it's fine. It's, right, so right. Right. Yeah, so my, really good. <laughs> my, my question for you being that we talked about the, you know, cause victory and six point uh, are, are, you know, kind of, I don't know. What am I trying to say? They're, they go hand in hand nowadays, right? Cause they're all, owned and, and operated by the same people. So how does the victory um, hop devil compare to like, uh, like a, a six point uh, West coast IPA? Like I the, like the six point. I like the six point better. Six point is better. Okay. So I, I, don't know from is, I don't, know, that would be I don't know if you would call this their classic thing that you'd use to compare though. I think victory has some other stuff that would be better than this. Oh, Right. right. But, you know, one thing Victory doesn't have, or at least I have never seen anything from them, is in, whereas Six Point does this, is Victory, when they their, hop, their IPAs are more hoppy and, and West Coast traditional American bitter versus the um, the Six Point has a lot of the uh, the juicier IPAs, the mind control, the meltdown. They focus more on the, the fruity hop notes versus the resinous grapefruit bitter pithy type. Things. I think that's true. It's interesting, right. though, that if you look at the three breweries that they're using for the, at least for Six Point, I don't know where they're brewing the Southern Tier, but at least the, the Six Point now is being brewed in two of the Victory breweries, one in Downingtown where they are, and there's another one in Pennsylvania nearby that they're using also. So Six Point, only in the Brooklyn one by my house, is doing specialty stuff. They're not doing yeah. any any canning of anything that goes national. Okay. Have they gotten back to um, the the, uh, the the release date stuff that they were doing pre-COVID, where you stand in line? Oh, that's all done away with now, and they're, using they're not this, doing any of they're that. Using this, they're using this brew pub to bridge the gap, and the brew oh, pub is so, kind of cool. No, the, so the, yeah, brew, as the okay. brewery goes now. I probably would guess you could, if you go there, they wouldn't let you in. You know, it's well, it's just where the um, just you, John, just executive you. In a way, well, yeah, of course. <laughs> just in you. a way, though, else that, that, I guess that's better because you don't end up, you know, like it's more efficient, I guess, that way. So that's during cool. COVID, though, they they were, they were in the process of trying to set up 
this brew pub somewhere else and then that fell through during covid oh. maybe based on you couldn't do construction then and you had to wait mm. so this is in a downstairs of like a mm. like a mall where they have it's it's in the eating area where the restaurants are and you know yeah. you have thai yeah. food and vietnamese food all these little stands around yeah, and then yeah. you have this six point brew pub where they also like i said have southern tier and have victory also but much more six point stuff than anything else and also right. you know there's a trader joe's down there so it's like um a big bottom of a mall and i we were there i went with with audrey chris and bryce and we did two different flights and we tried 10 different six points i think we tried one or two we tried the um set the berry monkey from the victory berry monkey yeah victory, and it, i like the berry monkey it was very good i remember most, that's why i was asking you because you sent me uh like pictures of the flights you guys got and i was like wait a second there's victory in there you got uh the six point and then uh, so what was the, the other tier tier, the southern tier so i was like yeah you got all three uh, going. Well, yeah, yeah. I, guess, I guess the theory is and there are only two of these. There's one here in Brooklyn for the six point. There's one in Downingtown, Pennsylvania, or in Philly for Victory. Mm -hmm. And I assume that has some six point in Southern Tier as well. So they're there, yeah. So I mean, that's awesome. If you live, I mean, you you go there, you get to try three amazing. Right. The breweries, beers, you know, it's that's a that's and these are all they're program. all plus breweries in that they have IPAs, they have some stouts, they have other things that they do sours and right. You get a yeah. lot of that's a lot awesome. of selection, yeah. yeah. And well, as the seat as it gets colder, I would assume they'll switch out all the IPAs yeah. and maybe get into some of that stuff John and I love, like the stuff, like you know, the, the stuff I sent you. The you master know, blend stuff master and, the, blend yeah. and the Ojito oh. Cowboy. And I don't think you're going to see the black is beautiful again because that's that's you that know, was not, a special you know, yeah, specialty right. thing. But um, hopefully you'll start seeing darker, you know, better things yeah. to represent the season. And well, the the Coquito Cowboy is one of those, you know, that, maybe I'll be able to get another Coquito Cowboy because I feel like I kind of wasted the one that I had because I wasn't in the right the right frame yeah, of mind those to, kind really, of things to really, really enjoy it. Just, you, know? you know, John, you're ready to fly, and I guess you, you had to have a little <laughs> Yeah, I got a little that was right. That was right, <laughs> before, that was right before my first time ever flying up here to visit my now I remember that. I remember that future yeah. wife, basically. So yeah, that was uh future wife. Yeah, that was a scary, scary experience. Actually, though. Drunken One saved you that night. He came on and he, <laughs> oh, he did. Drunken One yeah. talked about <laughs> He did. What Dr. One said is, she says, I don't think John's going to be going too much further. <laughs> yeah, right? Right. Yeah. Cooper was there by himself. It's like, uh, yeah, well. Uh, let me go, yeah. Let me go close this thing out. out. So, yeah. So, All I'm right. going with an 89, which is a B plus. 89. I'm not, I'm not not recommending it. I think if you see this beer out there, I don't think I'd buy a six pack, but if you see a single, pick it up and try it. See if you like it. If you like malty IPAs, that's more what this is okay. right uh, yeah all right so 89 that's a good uh that's a good score yeah we'll go um so let's see uh we gotta Deal. go drunk drunken one yeah, which is final me, thoughts right gonna, here. i'm trying i'm trying to uh hold on to the rest of it so i can make the rest of the video here all right uh yeah i mean I don't, you don't have to blow me up unless you want to uh, anyway so yeah it's got nice glass lacing to it uh, it's, it's the uh, hopadillo hopadillo from carbock um, uh, six point six with a sixty-five IBU. It's considered an ale. I don't know why they don't call it an IPA, but they consider it an ale. Anyway, um, uh, yeah, it, it's uh, uh, like I mentioned a while ago, grassy kind of uh, mid to maybe thicker, you know, mouthfeel to it. It's uh, uh, clean and refreshing. Goes down nice. Uh, it does have some carbonation, uh, not like uh, 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 Mr. Grimrouse did, because that was really just streaming those bubbles up there, which makes it look so inviting and. and, and uh, you just want to drink it, don't you, right? But uh, yeah, very flavorful, uh, mm, uh, grassy, malty, just a bit. Um, uh, I don't know, like, like I said, mentioned a while ago, I don't know what its di distribution is, but it's uh, very flavorful uh, uh, and uh, it's good to go. Let's uh, get one more down. There you go. Well, oh, so you very, 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 fla very flavorful. I will give it a, uh, I'll give it a 90. <clears throat> There's a lot better IPAs out there. This there's nothing wrong with this. It's definitely uh, drinkable, and uh, uh, they have it at all the gas stations for a reason because they they don't uh, waste uh, uh, shelf space at the gas stations because it's so limited there. So obviously it's it's selling. So it's uh, 
it's all right. Maybe somebody else. I, I should have looked it up, but maybe on uh, on uh, on untapped or whatever. You know, ah. uh, what it is. But I, I give it a ninety. I give it a straight up ninety. There's nothing wrong nice. with it. It's uh, sessionable and it's nice and it's it's. it's well, I say sessionable six point six. Right. Sessionable enough. <laughs> right. Hey, that, that's what I got. Thanks for having me. In America, me. Sick, anything under eight percent in America, I think. <laughs> yeah, well, these days. I don't know. Yeah, we like our we like our alcohol here, and we can yeah, drink we a lot of it. Yeah. Apparently. I mean, oh, like yeah. in UK, UK over there, they do like a lot of four, four point something. Right. Well, you know, Canadian, five, yeah. you can drink a shitload of it. Right? Euro- Europeans, like Canadians, you know, they, they really have a hard time. Uh, they can't keep, <laughs> they can't keep up with us, us, you know, Americans. Uh, but anyway, it's, it's fine. Um, Thank you. Jeff. All right. So yeah, 90 out of a hundred. Uh, awesome. 100 Thank 100. you for joining. And you know what? You're quite a, quite the, the reviewer. You should do more reviewing of beers. Uh, but anyway, that's oh, neither here nor there. I, 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 I second that motion, Dio. You better get on it. Oh, I mean, no, I mean, geez. listen to Chadio. He's about to give his final oh, thoughts. Raise. I guarantee it's not going to be as eloquent. Just, it's I not going to be I, as eloquent as what you just said. So no, it won't be. I, good I, luck. I, good I, luck following that, Chadio. Like, but Chadio's been that. known to sniff things. Go check out the video that Jeremy put out. <laughs> Chadio smelling things. Chadio's got the nose. So <laughs> you know, don't just check out Jeremy's. Video yeah, of me dude, dude, check out my whole whole 17 days of sniffing stuff. And, uh, and you know, Paul's in the chat, by the way. Uh, that's uh, debatable, Paul, but you know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and cheers, Paul, one for you. Yeah, yeah. Cheers, Paul, for hanging cheers out. Cheers to you. Paul. Yeah, good, he right? may be more refined than drunken one, but I mean, come on. For most Americans, <laughs> that's, a, that's a little bit of a stretch. Right. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah. Cheers, Paul. All right, so you, um, so, so I you. was like, you know, sipping this. And I'm like, this reminds me of something. I happened to look at my cabinet, one of my labels I have up there, and it reminds me of Launchpad Brewing Company, which is a local brewery here. It reminds me of their uh, piggyback um, hazy IPA, very much so. And it also gave me a little bit of uh, juicy bits from uh, Weldworks, which they're starting to you're starting to find those every once in a while. And other areas outside of Colorado, which is really cool. I had a buddy who was a brewer there for a good two years. Uh, but no, this is a fantastic um, triple IPA. It's so good. So Tim, that's sweet. right. Ten percent. It's right there at the. Yeah. yeah. It's right. weird how some of these. I are, I don't like yeah. the terminology triple. I don't know. Miscellaneous will agree. With, it's a double. It's a, it's an emphasized double IPA. Is what I'll look at it as. It did triple hop it though. So, well, I don't know if the BJCP. We talked about this before. I don't know if they officially recognize a triple IPA as a separate. They do recognize IPAs and double IPAs, but I think triple IPA is just kind of like one of those things because I've had. A 9%, 9.4%, 10 yeah. 12% that are considered triple IPAs. But where is the cut? Like, there's no official literature on what classifies yeah. it, what ABV range classifies an IPA mm. as a triple. Yeah, there, yeah there's got to be some and, kind of guy there somewhere. And, and Great there's American not, Beer Fest, they don't have a triple IPA category there. So that's right. another place to look at. Like, okay, do they have this in their categories as like beers being rated? The way I know? see it is if it's going to be considered a triple, it needs to be. 10 percent minimum mm-hmm. because i had a 9.4 the other day that was considered a triple this is a 9.2 and it's considered a double so that that's what mm-hmm. separates it yeah i mean it's all subject it, it's all a bunch it's terminology of terminology right yeah i mean gimmicky you know. terminology yeah but uh, there needs to be something in, in writing otherwise it's just you could call it whatever the hell you want you know john isn't no. that isn't that founders one the dirty dancer was the dirty 12%? dancer and 12 percent which is was and a, that was a, a that was a triple, right? Yeah. So and twelve percent, even from a ten percent to a twelve percent, that's a big jump. No, no it way. Is. It and is. that's still so. So what? It yeah. Is. So we need an official statement from the BJCP that mm-hmm. states what a triple. Otherwise, it's just all at the brewer's discretion. They can call a a nine percent a triple if they want. Whereas most what a drunken one whip up over there. What's that? I don't know. So Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. All right. Bloody so Mary. number score, number score real quick. Yeah, have, number score is I'm gonna give this a 94. I think it's okay. phenomenal. It's All very, right. very tasty. Nice. You know, I was looking at it and I'm like, do I really want to delve into 10%? Do I even feel like an IP? And I saw you were on. I was like, yeah, I'll hop on. I haven't been on a a John and Nelly panel in a while, and I haven't seen 
no Cormor off well, in a long you. time either. So I'm happy I came up. Sure. 94 out of 100. I think this is great. I'm going to have to start looking for more Grim on Tavor. And uh, if I see more IPAs from them, I'll definitely give them uh, uh, some more tries. Okay. <laughs> right. Our triples up here a minute. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm I'm sorry. Know the the triples at the price as they are down uh, there. Right. Yeah, pretty much. Well, it's expensive here. I mean, no real twelve pack. But Bud Light six pack of Bud Lights now nine ninety nine here. Okay. The Bud Light. Yeah, yeah the nine ninety nine. The the, the, mac the the macros now the pricing is much higher. See, I'm I, I'm I'm not a macro guy, as as all you right. all know. So now with the prices going up, I'll never buy them. Mm -hmm. right, if there was any chance of Michael Cormier buying a Mac before, <laughs> it's completely gone now because the prices are ridiculous. But like, I, I got a 12 pack of Bud Light for 13. I'm like, yep, yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> like, I still like Genesee because I'm not going to blow through these. Genesee Mail is one of my all time favorites, but I can't get that here. I can only Which get is? the Jenny straight. Which is crazy right because now. you live in New York and Rochester. Hours, it doesn't make five sense. Hours from Rochester, though. Insane that, that you can't get the cream. It does not make though. any sense. Whatever. I've I don't only have the Jenny cream. Like, that's all the only one I get here is the Jenny that's cream. That's a good beer. I like that beer. Yeah. Right. Um, all right. Uh, John, it's to you now to give us your Treehouse evaluation. Oh, yes. The evil Julius from Treehouse. I, I mean, you can't go wrong with these Treehouse beers. Um it's funny, I've, I've reviewed some of the ones that they have that actually where they add like guava puree or they add fruit to some of the IPAs that they brew. They're not as good. The, the straight IPAs with the double dry hopping, the kettle, all, all of that, they're mm. so much better. Mm. This one is really amazing because it's it's another, it's a an amped up version of one of my favorite Treehouse brews, which is the Julius. It's a, it's a stronger, more hoppy version of that. And uh, I really love this beer. It's it's right. It's not quite world class for me because I've had some stuff that's. I'm drinking so many of these juicy IPAs uh, lately. It's really, it's really well, like man. you got to really nitpick. You know, I would have liked maybe a little bit of melon with this one. Maybe some papaya, a little bit more tropical fruit versus the one note with the the, the orange citrus. But that's what the Julius is. So. It's hard to knock it for that, but at the same time, it doesn't meet the complexity requirements that that I'm looking for with these IPAs now. So I'm going to dock it down a little bit. I'm going to dock it down a little bit. I'm still going to give it a 97 out of 100, wow. which is one short of world. 97 out of 100 is outstanding, yeah. bordering on world class. It's right there. It's one of the better. If you're from down in Texas or Alabama, Georgia, like where I'm from, and you drink this as like your first juicy IPA, you're probably going to give it a hundred. You're going to give it an Alex 100 out of 100 every time because it's that good. But when you get a lot of this, when you get overexposed to stuff like this and you're drinking other half, you're drinking Fidens, which I wanted to talk to Michael about. I got, I, I reviewed a Fidens beer, which is in New York, Albany, New York, my first Fidens review. Um, it, like some of this, I mean, it's just all, it's, it's, a, it's a, an over, uh, what, over, of, of the style of beer yeah it's just i i've never i never had this experience down south and i moved up here and it's con overexposure to to the double juicy ipas over and over and over again i'm reviewing them all and it's like oh my god this one's good this one's good this one's good they're all amazing but you really have to start to be a little bit nitpicky because they all can't be 98 to 100 right like so you really have to start being a little bit Poor discretionary John. and 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 um yeah it's it Poor guy but you know what if that's if that's a problem that's a problem that's a good that's a problem that i don't mind having I know, right? really try to Trump one, john's on a mission he's on a mission to try all the hazy double uh, IPAs. oh man he, he's right in that oh, neighborhood yes. isn't he, he he's right Go there him, man. where they're all at man that this sounds yeah. like the best beers ever yeah i visited there last year and a half ago or whatever it was and yeah, that's right. You get to try a lot of them. They were fantastic. Uh, we just you went to Modest Man here. with uh, I didn't uh, with yeah, we uh, Bumpy and, 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 and Eric and, and, and Alex and, and all and you guys with there. Brilliant. Yeah, did really, yeah. really good beers up there. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, I mean to. No, not at all. Yeah. So 
Oh, there's a fantastic beer. We don't get those things down here. They're, I mean, we get beer, but it's not like this. Right? Yeah. Well, even in Georgia, I would get some of these, uh, they would call them juicy IPAs or whatever, but they cheated. They would add, if you look at the ingredients or you did a little research, most of them had lactose and fruit added. Up here, Treehouse and Trillium and, and, and Burlington Beer Company and Heavy Top or, or uh, uh, what's that? Brewery? Anyway, all these breweries up here. Uh, Heady Topper was the first band. one. Heady Topper was the first one. That well, Heady Topper was the first one. Topper, but yeah. they're they're creating that juicy effect just from the hops. There's yeah. no additives. They don't put. They're not even flaked oats or milk sugar. Now now they've at, they've gotten to the point where some of you know they all have milk mm -hmm. sugar or added fruit puree or this that and the other. But up yeah. here with the treehouse, with the trillium, they still create that same effect without any added fruit or, or lactose or right. or whatever. Mm -hmm. So right. it's it's more it's better for one, and it's more true to form for the style because there's no additives. And it just I don't know, there's just something really amazing about these these That's super right. juicy IPAs that have nothing added to them other than the, the hopping. So mm -hmm. the hops right. create all of this tropical fruit and this yep. uh the, 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 the orange and the citrus and, and, and the, the, uh, the the mouthfeel it's, ama it's amazing, yeah. The viscosity and the density, what, how is that created? Is it's not uh, like oats or whatever as a well, as a well the malt or, a lot of, well they, they still have to use like wheat a lot of the wheat malt that's unfilt unfiltered is a big part. These are oh, unfiltered. Beer. Copy that yeah. unfiltered, right, yeah. right, right, right. So, they to stay in there to give it that density. Okay. Yeah, right. The freshness yeah. drunken one's really important. John's saying he can get a two week old beer. You can't right. and, it, and let it sit out because it goes downhill really fast. Yes. Yeah, oh, you gotta yeah, drink yeah this was a uh, can three weeks ago. So right. That, right. It, it, right. it's fine up to like six weeks, but you can't. It's not oh. like like something like this. They would say is good for six months. Is it really? Mm -hmm. I bought this one a couple. This was canned on October twenty seventh. Right here. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's it's how just, sometimes dead is better. Is that what right? it says on that can? Yeah, sometimes dead is better. It's a Halloween, yeah, Halloween can. <laughs> All right. Yeah, the I mean, evil, evil Julius, they put out, you know, I I have some other treehouse, the ghost of Moses. I, I like that. I like that can. I like that can. These are all treehouse. <laughs> can, mm -hmm. can design. Their can design is great. It's it really is. Cool, it yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. But Super they put simple. out, I bought, I went to treehouse a couple weeks ago and they have. Everything, the evil Julius, the ghost emoji, the extra spooky, it's all Halloween themed beers. And they're all, you know, you would think looking at the scale, oh, maybe it's a stout or whatever, but it's a double yeah, 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 IPA. So it's just they have all these these uh, Halloween themed beers mm -hmm. and you buy them. And this one is October 29th. This yeah. one is the King of Dots. October 26th. And the yeah. one I'm drinking is now is October 27th. All these beers wow. are super, super fresh. It's yeah, October 29th, though, they have the other little half. can that you just show that's other still half not even real. But yeah, yeah, and other half, and I'm sure if you're yeah, if you're in the area and you go to the brewery and pick up beers, you're going to get super fresh stuff. Do they, well, obviously they distribute because they get stuff here, but they're very limited or they're very particular, I guess, about who they distribute to. Whatever would happen would be to minimal distributors who they feel are going to really push their brand. And maybe mm -hmm. at some point, they will decide to take on Trillium and Treehouse and come into Massachusetts and do a brewery. Uh, right. Now, they're doing so well, they don't have to do it. I mean, they're, they're solidly where they are. And if anything, they probably would go west. Maybe they would go to Chicago. Maybe, they, yeah, maybe they, would they would do very there. well. If, they, if all of these breweries like Treehouse and Trillium and Other Half and Burlington Beer Company, if they started distributing out west, I think they would yeah. just – they would make a killing because oh yeah, Colorado, they don't get this. Yeah. They don't. They, they don't have that experience out there. Yeah. There's a lot of breweries that try to, to create these styles, but I, they're not the same. In Georgia, I got a lot of Wild Leap. You know, which you've had some of their beers. A lot of great IPAs from these craft breweries, but they're not as good. They they don't. They cheat for one because they add a bunch of mm -hmm. vanilla and lactose and fruit. They're not the true juice bombs. 
And they're just not as good. They're just and not now as good. Now you've had them, if you were rating the wild leap in those, they would probably be in the lower 90s now. They wouldn't be. They in the would probably be first. in the mid B range. They and probably wouldn't first, even make the A, a cut. At, 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 first, at first, you rated them very highly because they would be. Have, they would be good beer. They would be B, but like for the style and knowing what I know now about the purity of these non additives with these juicy IPAs, I would probably drop them down into the B range for sure. Okay, so that's and that's just this is an example of hey, everybody's palate changes. We talk yeah. about this. That's why you you review the beer, like no question. You know, if I if I was to look at those beers again now, they would probably get a much lower score because I've been exposed to stuff like this. No so. question. Can we do a show and tell section? Yes, we'll go ahead. We're at minutes, so we'll do a quick show and tell. Shout out if anybody has any of that, and then we'll go. Up, we'll go okay. ahead and close it out. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. So go I, ahead. I, can I go first? Yes, sir. Yes, okay, sir. So this, I'm showing you one box that I have here of stuff that I've been selling. The first one I'm going to show is from the formerly Trappist Brewery that used to be in the United States. According to Jay, they're out of business. I haven't checked it out. I assume he's correct. It's called. Are they real? Oh, damn. It, was, it was Spencer Brewing, and we did have one in the United States, but according to Jay, they have closed their operation. I didn't check it. This is a trap. Wow. Trappist quadruple at what's the percentage 10.2 and i got a four pack i've had two i'm cellaring two in honor of alex i still have Thank you. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> i got a few of those i got some of the ABS, and this one is from what year this is 2021 i think let's see 12 nice. percent 2021. So this is was brewed on the 27th of October of 21. So this has been a year in the bottle. A year, yeah, a year, just over a year and a year and a week or whatever. Yeah, okay. yeah. So I saved the best for last. Uh -oh. All right. I have a dogfish head 120. Oh, nice. All right. That I'm sitting on. How about that? It says on it, age as well. I know it ages. I have, um, so Michael, uh, I do have a dogfish head 120 uh, in the fridge. So if that's something. Okay, anytime you want to do it, I, I, I that kind of thing. Mine's a, I bought another one because I, I bought a, this year's version because I saw it the other day. So I bought a four pack. Okay. Uh, shit. Sure. Well, well, a couple. I can find those. I, I can find those. Now. That's Again, what more dog. I'm angling badly. Here's another dogfish head, which I'm not sure you've had. Fruitful Fort. Yes, love it. So this, we don't know what these alcohols are. Some something between fifteen and twenty. Fifteen and twenty. Yeah. Once you see that cap, it's fifteen and twenty. And the last one is kind of. We know this one is fifteen, even though it has the cap. It's at the bottom. It's called Old School, and this oh. is a fig and date version. Of uh, the fruitful four? No, the um, old school, the one you're looking at now. Oh. No, I know, but it's a fruit. It's a date and fig version of what? It's a date. This is just a barley wine style brewed with. Oh date my god! Fifteen percent. That sounds amazing. Is that a newer? Is that an age? Oh, I, I've had it for a while, so this is probably. They don't have a date when it was brewed. I feel like they don't. They probably don't make that anymore. You gotta. Yeah. That's a. I've never heard of that. But they have weird stuff on the thing that you should take with and, and dig Bumpy and I reviewed, uh, and I can still get a couple bottles. Uh, we reviewed on my channel, it, it's called The Fort. It's before they called it The Fruitful Fort. We I bought a 2015 bottle for 12 bucks at a liquor store in Acton, Massachusetts. And it was uh, a 2015 bottle. It's called Fort, it, which is the same thing as The Fruitful Fort. They changed the name. Mm. Oh my God! It was it was amazing. So when we drank it, it was this year. So fifteen, so seven, about seven, seven years. years age yeah, on yeah, it. Almost eight. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, it was so um, good. It was so. But good. you have to like. You really have to like fruit because it's. You do, fruit. but it's not like a sour though. It's like no. A it's, a it's, a, it's a straight fruit. It's and a you straight can, fruit. And you, can, you can taste the alcohol, but surprisingly, even though it's boozy, I I still like it. Yeah. Nice. I'm excited to yeah the one that that one you just showed that's interesting, with the mm -hmm. fig and the uh, it actually has figs added to it. It's a, like it said, it's a barley wine brewed with figs and dates. Figs and dates, Ooh. all right. So you already get that from the 
the malt uh, character, and then you add that on top of there, that's going to be one hell of a beer, I bet. All right. John, like I said, you're going to come in December whenever. We'll get a chance to try some of these things, and we'll probably end up right. out, but it'll be fun. Nice. Uh, All right. I'm going to have to get a plane ticket to New York. Where am I going? Driving. <laughs> John's driving. Well, yeah, I'll drive. Okay, right. I'm only about five. I'm not that far. Five you're hours a day. It's a day. Five it's a day hours. Trip. Five hours from me. Oh, okay. It's a, yeah. I get there by, by lunchtime, and they will have, yeah, it'll be fun. Um, okay, so let me uh, let me pull up Drunken one here. You got any, anything? I got nothing, man. You got, I got nothing? I, I, I moved on to the Bloody Marys. The Bloody Marys. Happy, happy Sunday, everybody. Uh, yeah. I got some uh, cheap vodka and some V8 juice. If, you, if you're making Bloody Marys, uh, spend the extra money to get some decent mixer to go with it. Get that V8. You know, get a, get a, get a brand new trust. Anyway, no, that's all I got, John. Thanks for having me on. He's got that's circular. It. If you look closely, he's got circular ice cubes. Look at that. Oh, yeah. 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 I got the coolest cool? cubes. Man, yeah, I got my own ice oh, maker. Wow. Yeah, I, got cool, I love I love the ice cubes. He's got a nice ice maker. <laughs> nice. Oh, I thought that was an olive. I was like, okay. Uh, hey, hey <laughs> I, I do have something I want to say. Uh, Y'all make your votes count on, on Tuesday. No matter which way you go, make your votes count. Don't, don't just say, oh, yeah, well, they're way ahead, and so we got nothing to worry about. Do make your vote count. You're no matter, right. No matter which way you go, make your vote count. Make make your make your. Uh, if uh, you uh, don't, if you don't vote, you can't complain about. I voted exactly. early. My vote. votes, my votes already in. You're already in. All right, right. there you Ours go. Ours is next. Mine are in. So I vote Tuesday. Yeah, I vote Tuesday. I'm I'm, I'm voting yeah. in, in person. That way, I feel like it won't get us effed up or whatever. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. make your vote count. No matter which way you go, make your vote count. All right. The, the Jets are ahead of the the Jets are ahead of the Bills seventeen fourteen. Are you serious? Oh, I just got the right. notification. I'm scared to ask about the Dolphins. I'm, I'm, I'm curious whole, of how that the, a whole quarter a lot can happen. I, mean, I wouldn't say it's true. You could assume that the Jets will win. Oh, give me out of here! Come on, come on, man. That was supposed to be a route. So, you know, <laughs> hey, week one. So, I like this whole show and tell thing. So, I'm going to show a few beers off. And, uh, yeah, this is another one that Kumroff, the brewery Kumroff knows all too yeah, well. It's fact, KCDC. I think it's a brew pub. Ooh, it's oh, so yeah, this is your This is your brain on drugs, double IPA. Nice. Uh, shout out to Bailey behind me watching me. Uh, this is cool. It's a collaboration between Parish Brewing Company and Tripping Animals. It is Ooh. called uh, Crawfish Kush. All right. right here. So that's that. another one I got on Tavor. And, so that's um, from Jay's na neighborhood, right? That's Louisiana. That's what Parish That's uh, Louisiana. Parish is. Yeah, that's, New Orleans. Yeah, but then uh, Tripping Animals is Florida, right? Florida, yes. Yeah. So that's a cool collaboration. And uh, this will be a shout-out as well. A couple of shout-outs yeah. in this one. Oh, sure. uh, from Lord's Brewing Company out of uh, the U.K., Joey Edibles actually sent me this from Ohio when, from his oh, UK nice. trip. He sent me a bunch of beers. Huh. And this is a collaboration between Lord's Brewing Company as a YouTube channel. Great dude. And uh, Paul's Beer Reviews also has a channel. Uh, check all three of those channels out. Great, great people. And the third is, oh, well, I got homebrew right here. This is the Lime Hefeweizen that Thrash and I brewed. Ooh, and uh, it came bad. out to 7%. Seven, 7 I have now, one. Yeah. When did his reading was 6.8 or his reading was 7.2 mine was 6.8 we just said screw it we'll call it 7 so when was that shout out the thrash you? life huh? when was that brewed it was when early October okay sounds perfect yeah it's ready to go yeah I can look through that the is one of my favorite homebrews um, it's clarified he, well too yeah he sent me one a couple years ago, different ver, you know, but similar. Yeah. The lime that that lime he uses the, oh, the lime have a the simply the simply lime made. That's what it. we used. Yep, uh, uh, that made it's so good, so good, phenomenal. Uh, I love it. So check out Thrash. He's actually going live in uh, about uh, six p.m. Eastern. So check him out. He's going to do Thrash talk. Thrash live. So there you go. All right. Cheers. Nice. Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna... Joe? <laughs> yep. What's that? John, do you have anything to show uh, uh, future? I, think so. I, I just you know, whip it out, John. Come I, uh, on, show us. I will not whip it out, Dracula. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh, I I really don't have anything. I just look out. I've got a bunch of beer reviews uh, that I still have to post uh, from myself, and then I I have like four or five more that I did with Bumpy when he came to visit. I'm gonna space those out because I'm really not drinking much this month. I'm I'm trying to, uh, you know kickstart my diet and lose a little weight and i drink a lot of craft beer so 
I'm trying to really cut back this month and into December. Um, so, but yeah, I have a lot of reviews coming up that I've, that I've already got pre-recorded. So look out for those. Uh, Bumping and I have got a lot of doer reviews, so that'll be interesting. We got some more Treehouse. We did a lot of, um, we did a, a stout from Treehouse that's going to be posted and uh, a couple other other things uh, and a whiskey review as well. So yeah, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that, that's about it. Stout Sunday is yes. one of those things. I do it when I can, but like, like Ron Terrio hosted this morning. I'm just Sunday mornings have become very, very busy for me. Uh, it wasn't like that in Georgia, but now that I've moved up here and I've got a girlfriend, I've got, uh -huh. I've got stuff going on. It's, it's, a, it's not easy for me to do the 1030 like it used to be. So I, I'll host South Sunday when I can. Otherwise, go to Louisiana Brewery's. He pretty much hosts every Sunday morning when I'm unavailable for South Sunday. Uh, and yeah, at some point, I'll try to get back into the Beer Buddies and do some of the other live shows that I that I set out to do, but, you know, just, still there's still going to be regular content on my oh, channel. You have to get Chadio and Drunken One on Beer Buddies, too. Both of them, yeah. Uh, yeah I've just seen Beer Buddies with you. Drunken yeah. One's going to have to start Alex putting is, out some more content, though. Al Alex has been, <laughs> has been posting know, a video in like six Alex, months. I don't it's know. been a while. Alex has been promoting your stuff for Beer Buddies, I know. although you I know. like one of them. <laughs> I'd love to do Beer Buddies. Well, 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 I appreciate I appreciate that you honor. But at the same time, it's like, oh, I don't, I, I, I can't commit it's to anything. Busy, so yeah, like, busy, yeah. You, know. you have but, to watch the three that he has, though. They're all good. That's, mm -hmm. yeah. And I will do more. I have, the good thing about those is they're individual, like, like interview type things. So, like, they're, you can go back and watch them. So, whenever I decide to, to do another one, it'll be, It'll be fine. It'll be good. It doesn't have to be like a regular scheduled program. I have a, a playlist for it. So as I add on to it, it'll just be one of those things you can go and watch at your leisure. But anyway, um, we've been going on an hour here. Uh, let's see. King of the Dots. Uh, yeah, everybody. Thanks, everybody, in the chat. We had a great chat today. Oh, yeah. okay. Paul, right, fun. Fun. King of the Dots, uh, BC, Miscellaneous, Jordy. King. We, had, we had Scotland. We had Scotland and we had England. And Kent Beer Reviews, we had Jordy's Den right. in the chat. So we, we're international here, folks. Yeah, that's the way we yes, roll, sir. Kent. So that's oh, great. Up, um, yes. And, and Paul says if he comes on Beer Buddies, he'll have to be a two-hour Oh, trip. we had Canada, too. Because he's got so much. So. He's a tough guy. That's right. We had Canada. We had Canada. We had Europe. We had, yeah, we had the whole whole gamut of, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, countries today. Anyway, uh, thanks to Chadio. Thanks to uh, – I almost called you Beer Man. Thanks to Drunken One. Thanks to Michael Kormov. Uh, thanks for joining. This is kind of like a last-minute spur or spur-of-the-moment type thing. Really appreciate you guys joining. I uh, had a great time. Uh, thanks to everybody in the chat. We appreciate all of your comments. We wouldn't be here without you guys. Uh, so hope everybody has a great rest of your Sunday. Enjoy your family, your friends, your football, your cooking out, whatever it is that you decide to do. Um, and hopefully you're having as good a weather wherever you are as we are here right now. This is uncanny for uh, November. It's like 75 degrees here today in Massachusetts. So enjoy the rest of your weekend, folks. We'll see you on the next one. Until then, everybody take care. Everybody. Take care, guys. Peace.